I used the crown, but it never worked. Apparently, the witch cast a strong protective spell on the forest, which hides her well. Is there any other way to find her? Or bypass this spell? I figured out how to strengthen the crown. The method is difficult, but I want you to try it. It may help to find the witch. I'll leave the crown and the enhancement scheme on the table, while I will go to the experienced magicians for advice. We've been dealing with flour from generation
I found part of such a stained glass window a long time ago. It should lie in my barn. I've already seen parts of this bas relief. I need to remember their locations and collect them. is very delicate. I need to assemble a set of jewelry tools, and I can look for magical sand in the van. Artists often use it in their performances. Thank you. 
Hmm, the emerald is broken. Can I try another stone? It's impossible to break it down. I need to pull out the crystal with some tool. There must be something suitable in the blacksmith's place.
In the old city cache, Leonor found a protective bracelet created by the masters of the past. As soon as she put it on, the protective magic was activated and showed her an eerie vision. In that vision, Magnus was filled with rage and went mad, as if he had been possessed by a great evil. The vision dissipated, but the horror that fettered Leonore's soul told her that she saw it for a reason. Hmm, this signet seems... My little sister was kidnapped right from the bakery, and no one believes me. Everyone thinks that she's just hid to justify her father. You must be on the verge of despair. I believe you. I hope Magnus can find your sister and the rest of the kids. I'll look around here and try to do my best to help. I hope they would release my father. I don't believe he could do that. This is my sister's bag. She wouldn't have gone anywhere without it. Gingerbread, again. I don't believe this is a coincidence. It must be the witch. This is a figurine of Gerhard the Ebon Blade. That was the name of the human archmage who contributed to the protection of the world from the Grey Overlord. I need a second key. I'll go to the blacksmith and see if he can forge the same one. Rongrim, I need an exact copy of this key. Can you make one? Interesting key. I think I can, except that Benegar once took the tools for such work from me, and he did not return them yet. No wonder he doesn't show his nose here now. I think I can find and bring them. You should try. Leave the key with me. Please, also grab a metal plate from my shed.
I brought everything you need. Thank you. Can you help me with one more thing while I make the key? Freya, although quite a baby, helped me a lot to keep up with everything. Of course I will help. What should I do? Ever since she disappeared, I can't sleep at all. My heart hurts. I feel terrible. Rose gave me some sedative medicine. Ask her for another bottle. Mine is over. Say it's for Rongrum. She knows what it's about. Hello. Rongrum sent me for a sedative. Is it already over? Quickly. Here you go. Poor fellow. He lost his daughter. Now he is living in obscurity. You wouldn't wish this to your enemy. Yeah, but there is still hope. Perhaps we will soon find her and the rest of the children alive and well. We all hope that. Good luck to you. I brought your medicine. Rose looked worried. I know it's none of my business, but maybe you should not... You don't know how I feel right now, and I hope you never know. But I made you the key, as promised. At the beginning of the Earth Age, Jacob the Madman made a fatal mistake in the ritual. He let the Grey Overlord into this world who craved power and greatness. The southern human kingdoms fell to him. The passage through the South Ridge was left undefended. The battle against the Grey Army was doomed. As the troops became weaker, the Grey Army became stronger. It subjugated every living thing that came across its path. The four greatest mages of their races allied to prevent the inevitable defeat. They came up with a ritual that could tear the very fabric of the universe. They banished the Grey Overlord beyond the realm of the world at the cost of their lives. The magical seals closed the rift and created a defense that would not allow the Grey Overlord to return. The security of this world now depended entirely on the integrity of these seals. When I was little, they often read this book to me in the monastery.
chain was in the bag of Nimeril's sister. It is worth going to the bakery. Maybe he has another chain. Tell me, do you have such a chain? I really need it for the crown, which could help me to find the witch. Yes, I will give it to you. Dad also used such a crown. He also had a special, beautiful map. He started to hide it from us when my sister tried to chew all the candies on it. Do you know where he hid it? It seems to me that this map can be very helpful in the search. I know. It's in the cache behind the logs. I'll look tomorrow for a clue on how to open it. And now, it's time for bed. My father wouldn't approve that I'm not sleeping at night. The crown is ready. Now I can rest. Magnus assumed Leonor the task of improving the crown. However, she had started to suspect that he was not particularly interested in the fate of the missing children. The baker's daughter also disappeared. Nimeril said that his father used the crown along with some kind of map. Apparently, he knew the witch. Therefore, Leonor was determined to keep the crown for the time being and continue the search for the children. Thank <laughs> you. 
Leonor performed the summoning ritual, and Alkanost appeared. She told the story of her friendship with Freya and the events of that ill-fated day. Freya bit the gingerbread, and eerie shadows flew out from it. This was dark magic, undoubtedly. Alkanost could only attack them with blue fire, but it flew through and set the treehouse on fire. The shadows were not damaged. Freya ran outside, and the shadows grabbed her immediately and dragged her into the forest. Alkanost rushed in pursuit, but alas, it was no use. The shadows disappeared without a trace, along with the girl. According to Alkanost, Freya may be alive. I need to tell Rongrim that it's too early to mourn his daughter. Rongrim! Freya is alive! The fire happened because of the alchemist, which wanted to protect the girl with blue fire from the shadows. They appeared when she took a bite of the gingerbread and stole her! Gingerbread? I suspected it wasn't the witch. Now I'm pretty sure it's Erdan. The arrogant Shamoon cannot accept the fact that they're no longer in charge here. No, no. I didn't want you to think that at all. Erdan helped me a lot in my search. The memory flower that he gave to your daughter helped me to get to the bottom of the truth. Yes. What a misfortune that the flower did not burn in the fire. He must have planned it that way, right? He didn't plan any of these. It's all the witch's doings. Listen to me. A two-faced scoundrel. Never mind. I'll prove that it's him. Apparently, all the missing children bit the gingerbread, and they were kidnapped by magical shadows immediately after that. It must have been the witch after all. The timing could be coincidental, but you'll know for sure if you do an experiment. To test the gingerbread and see if there is any magic involved? How can I do it? You'll need to create a reagent potion. I've got the recipe. I'll share it with you. But I don't have all the ingredients. I only have the pigments somewhere on the shelf. If the reagent turns purple after applying the gingerbread, it means that it is enchanted by the dragonoid magic. Then I promise I'll help you find her. Sorry, the set is incomplete. Once I bought such pigments from wandering artists, but they have not visited us for a long time.
I need to collect all the ingredients. The shell should be at the bottom of the cave lake, and the salt can be evaporated from the blue still. I need a piece of this stalactite, but it's very high. A strong blow or a small explosion will help me to... Do you have something to blow up the stalactite in the cave? An interesting problem you have there. I have a bottle of explosive liquid on my desk, but you need a special vial. You can look for it in the shed. explosives directly to the stalactite. Maybe Benneker can lend me... Can you help me? I need to throw the explosive vial very high to knock down a stalactite in the cave. You just won't stop, will you? I can give you a crossbow. Attach explosives to an arrow and shoot at the right place. The vial will explode on impact and the stalactite will break off. You can find an arrow in the clearing.
It is necessary to melt a piece of the stalactite at a high temperature to get salt in the center. should know. He already made this reagent. You must be the son of Erdane. Where is he? Yes, I am Nimeril. They took away my father and put him in prison. He was accused of kidnapping children. Oh no, it's all because of me. If I collect the reagent and conduct an experiment, it will become clear that Erdane is innocent. Do you know what living water is? Where should I look for it? A beautiful name, but as far as I know, it's just water with plankton from the local lake. It is found where nymphaeus grow. I'll give you a ladle so that you can conveniently collect it from the boat. Thank you. I will try to prove that they should blame the witch for everything. Then your father will be released.
I'm sure the children were kidnapped by the witch. Do you know where this prison is where they're keeping your father? On the main square, but the guard won't let anyone in. I need to get there somehow. Erdane promised to help me find the witch. Look, I'm left alone with my sister, and my father was put behind bars. I'd like to help you, but I don't know anything else. Hey, stop! No one's allowed to enter. It's the middle of the night. You should go to sleep. Maybe I can put the guard to sleep. Surely Godaloth is sitting in the tavern now. I need to talk to him. Godaloth? I need help. The baker was put in prison, but he is not guilty. I need to talk to him urgently, but he is guarded. Guarded? Ha! This drunkard guard wouldn't even notice if a cart in an open field was stolen from right under his nose. Can you share a sleeping potion with me? I need just a little bit. Unfortunately, a little bit is all that is left. If you collect the buds and seeds of lulling flowers for me, then I can give you the rest of the potion and order myself a new one in the morning from Rosa. Lulling flowers? Luckily, they only open at night. I'll have to catch yellow and blue fireflies to find them. Well, I'll take care of it. Thank you.
Margaret hides the tap from the barrel of wine in the pantry when she leaves for business, so that no one could pour himself. Not like there were incidents. Fireflies at this time should be on the lake. They can be lured to the syrup of solar sugar. Thank you. I'm already starting to fall. I managed to find both seeds and buds. Excellent. Take the sleeping potion. You can safely pour out everything that is left in the bottle. You 
must be bored here. Would you like some wine? What a stupid question. Of course I would. I did an experiment, and the water turned purple. You must help me find the witch. No, it can't be. I don't believe it. She couldn't. But I did everything you said, and the gingerbread colored the reagent. You promised. Who knows what she's doing with the kids now? She wouldn't hurt anyone. Why are you protecting her? Do you know each other? She... She charmed him. It's obvious. She made him a puppet. I see traces of witchcraft on him. Let's go. There is no point in talking to him. The baker said that he would help find the witch if the gingerbread was created with dragonoid magic. Leonore conducted an experiment and proved it, but the baker had already been put in a prison. Magnus said that he was enchanted by the witch. The threads to the missing children were eluding one after another. I got to the old city and found the sanctuary. There is a bowl with moon symbols there, but it looks broken. It does not have several moons, and there is no mist either. Moons are a popular talisman that are fairly easy to find. Maybe bringing them back would fix the bowl. I think that I saw such moons in the hunter's clearing and the miller's barn, and I also found a pendant with a white raven. What can it mean? What is it for? Even before most races worshipped equilibrium, the black and white ravens represented the balance in She-Moon mythology. I have a black raven pendant on my shelves. Look for it, since you already have a white one. Perhaps you will need them to open some kind of cache. Sorry for asking so many questions. Magnus is only looking for the witch. But isn't it important to find the children too? I want to help, but I have to do it myself. It's okay. You're doing well. It's not easy to investigate on your own. Feel free to ask for help. No one here will refuse to help you.
a memory flower or pitch it here, but the writing is not legible. There is a potion that restores the ink. I'll look for the recipe in Magnus's attic. Why does Magnus take so long to return? blue algae in the cave lake. I need to return for it.
It looks like the old Shamoon language. I hope the baker can read it. Can you read a manuscript in the ancient Shamoon language? I'll try. It's about the memory flower. It says here that you need to put it in the bowl at night. Then the moon mist will restore it. The moons on the bowl must be connected by a continuous line for the mist to appear. It lists the ancient names for the phases of the moon. I'm not sure what follows what, but I'll draw you a pattern that should help. Leonore restored the memory flower in the bowl. She Moon's magic worked. A vision lit up her mind. She only saw confused fragments of memories. Freya playing in the treehouse. Open shutters, 
the silhouette of either a bird or a man, and a large, unfamiliar golden feather that was untouched by blue fire. Golden feather. I hope I can read in the book of creatures to whom it belongs. The hunter probably has a hawk feather. I can find the pearl in one of the shells underwater. Leonore restored the memory flower and saw a series of vivid visions. One of them contained the feather of a strange bird. She found out that this feather belongs to an alkanost, half a bird, half a woman. She can be summoned with the help of a special ritual. So there was a real hope that the girl was safe and could be found. It seems that there is a fire somewhere behind the blacksmith. What happened? Is anyone injured? Do you need my help? A little help won't hurt. We need to fix the old water tower because we can't contain the fire with the earth for long. This is a blue flame. We cannot put it out with the usual methods. Blue flame? I read about it. You can extinguish it with water, with a soap root dissolved. We still need a lot of water, which means we need to fix the tower. But if we move away, the fire will spread through the town. Maybe I can fix the tower while you hold the fire. Maybe you can. There should be a visual diagram of the pump in the tower. Magnus has a spare key to the tower. Try to find it. Dwillier feel? Is he any better? Yes, but he needs rest. Come back to check on him later. I'm sure he will be very happy to see you.
recently saw the first detail in the basement of the tavern. I can visit these scarlet halidus berries, which allow you to breathe underwater. No wonder they are so well hidden. They are very rare.
Soap root can often be found in such an area. It's strange, then. How do you feel? Very dizzy. Nauseated. It hurts. But the spider didn't eat me, thanks to you. I wouldn't have made it without Benegur and your mother. But let's not talk about sad things, because everything ended well. Do you want to talk about what happened? I was just playing in the pantry. I found a gingerbread there. When I took it, a mist enveloped me and shadows flew in from everywhere. They were trying to drag me somewhere. Did they throw you into the well? No. I escaped and ran away from them. They followed me. I ran to the field and jumped into the well. It was dark there, and I hoped they wouldn't find me. Did the shadows find you? Shadows did not, but I fell hard, and then I got lost. This is where the spider caught me. You are very brave and smart. It's not your fault and you did everything right. Rest, you need to gain strength.
know what happened. Fire, but not a simple one. Someone set fire to the treehouse near the forge with blue fire. Trouble! We need to fix the water tower soon. This is what I'm doing now. However, the pump was dissembled. I ran my legs off while looking for some parts. I have a part in a cache behind the shield. It should fit, but it could only be opened with a decorative weapon, which the guests have stolen long ago. I'll look for it. Thanks. This will help. Could this gingerbread be the cause of the kidnapping? Another gingerbread at the place of the kidnapping? Apparently Magnus was right. This is the same witch that it was 200 years ago.
is flowing. I should close. I will need a long hose. I saw such hose somewhere. was put out after some time. I sympathize with you about the burnt house. Well, don't be so down about it. You will build a new one, even better than the old one. Freya, my daughter. What happened? Oh no, did she? Everyone says she died in the fire. But I do not believe it. I do not want to believe it, and I will not. Dozens of times we discussed how to behave in case of a fire. She is a smart girl. What do you have in mind then? And did they find at the place of the fire? No, not a single bone, nothing. So I'm pretty sure she disappeared before the fire. Someone kidnapped her. I will inspect the ashes. Maybe I'll find something there that will clear things up. It seems to be. I'm not sure, but it looks like a Shamoon flower that holds memories. Ordain must know for sure. Tell me, please, do I understand correctly that this is a memory flower? That's right, it is. How do you know? Where did you get it from? I found it in the ashes of the burnt tree house. I once read a couple of books about Shamoon magic items, but I don't remember the details. Can you tell me what it does? It records images. You can see what happened around the flower. I gave it to Freya for her birthday, and I couldn't even think. But it was badly damaged in the fire. I don't know how to restore it. Perhaps Moon Mist could help. Oh, can I find it somewhere nearby? I know only one place where it could be. A bowl in the sanctuary of the old city. It's across the lake, but the old city was ruined and closed to casual passers-by many years ago. Is there any way to get there? The memories of the flower will help a lot to find Freya and figure out what happened to her. I inherited a seal from my father which can help you to open the way to the town. You can take it from my shelves.
A new misfortune in Forest Hill. The house where the blacksmith's daughter played was lit up with blue fire. Only a memory flower was found in the ashes. The baker said that it can be restored with the moon mist that can be found in the old city. Leonor decided to do it first thing in the morning. Has Magnus returned? No, he was out all night and he did not return yet. Dwilia got worse. Sometimes it seems to me that he, that he is already. But then I listen to his breathing and... Modred, he will live. Magnus will definitely be back. Here's what we'll do. You will stay with your son and take care of him. I'll try to figure out which fruit Magnus is searching for. And I'll try to find this fruit too. Of course, of course, it's a good idea. The two of you have a better chance of finding whatever it is to save my boy. I just need to find some records of Magnus about the habitats of this healing fruit. Maybe Magnus left them in his desk. I need to find the key to the desk.
Hello. I'm looking for such runes. Do you have a similar one? Interesting. I saw one just like this in my grandmother's stuff as a child. I often played with it, but I thought it was just a beautiful smooth stone. Well, if you need it, then I can give it to you. I don't think it's particularly valuable. If we talk about the cost, no, it's not. But you would help me very much. Okay, I'll look for it. Can you help me as well? Usually Mardred's boy brings me milk every day, but today he didn't come. Please, bring me a jug from the tavern. I brought milk. Did you manage to find the rune? Oh, thank you. Yes, I found it. It hadn't changed even slightly from how I remember it from my childhood.
figurine of Raka Emerald Skin, a Dragonoid Prophetess, one of the heroes who stopped the Grey Overlord.
It looks like this is the Karia tree, but I need its fruit juice, which means that I need to take it very carefully. I saw a suitable tool in the Miller's barn. I should rather get back to the town as soon as possible and give Dwellier the juice of the Kadia tree fruit to drink. Now he will be all right. He will get better. He just needs to rest. Yes, I also need a rest. Leonore had to solve more and more complex tasks, but she did not lose heart. She saved the tavern owner's son through her perseverance. Her well-deserved rest was interrupted by the sound of bells and the acrid smell of smoke. Good morning. How's it going with the search? It's not going very well. They did not find my son. I dreamed about him today. He was pale and scared. He was calling me. Sorry, I know this is little consolation, but I will do everything in my power to find him. Thank you, darling. But all the men of the town are already roaming the area. I doubt that you can help more than that. Well, not everything is decided by force, so I hope that I can. Your optimism comforts me. Forgive me for not serving breakfast today. Oh yes, I completely forgot. Magnus was looking for you in the early morning. Better hurry up to him. Leonore, where did you disappear? I had already begun to worry. I have an important task for you. Oh, I'm sorry. I've completely lost track of time. How can I help? I have a unique and most interesting invention in my attic. A crown that can find anything and anyone. 
It's broken, and I want you to fix it. Will the crown help to find the kids? What does it take to fix it? How does it work? So many questions, but the best answers are the ones we find ourselves. Consider it part of your education. However, I do sincerely hope it will help to find the witch. I have already seen colored crystals both in the town and beyond. I have.
Interesting animal. I've never seen one like it before. I'll read about it in the book of creatures when I get home. The crystal sits too tightly in the stone. I can only get it with a pickaxe. It would be better to remove this stone with pliers not to damage it. They are at the forge. It's a venomous red horn snake, and the crystal I need is right behind it. Maybe I can find something at the hunter's place to scare it away? Redhorn snake eggs are very rare and highly prized in alchemy. If I'm lucky, Rosa may buy it from me. Hello, can I get some money for this egg? Wow, that's a red horn snake egg. I think I can sell it, but I don't have coins now. I can give you a keeper. They're supposed to have valuable things inside anyway. Right? Okay, why not? Opening them is a pleasure. This animal can be used to search for Dwillier. I need to ask. I 
unusual demand. I need something to feed the bloodhound weasel. You can find some sugar on the shelf. The miller had a bloodhound weasel. Once he let it run without a leash. At the first taste of freedom, the animal immediately ran away. Alas. Do you think he still has a leash? Quite possibly. He is an economical man. Worth asking. What is that in the cage? A feather. If I find clay on the lake, I can make a key from the cast. Good afternoon. How long have you been in the field? Did you see a little boy that was running through here? I came recently. Today I was late. I didn't see any boys. Maybe you saw something unusual. No. Although there is a strange thing. Someone trampled all the grass near the well, but the well ran dry a long time ago. Why would anyone want to walk around it?
One of the crystals I need is hidden inside the bird. I think the cachet will open if I collect five golden feathers.
I found all the crystals. Now the crown works. Perfect. Great job. And so fast. I certainly like you. I saw a bloodhound weasel at the hunter's place. Maybe we can borrow it for searches. In general, the idea is not bad. But alas, the witch hides with the help of magic. So you can find her only by using magic. And here's my advice to you. Better avoid Benegar. He is... A bad person. But what about the boy? Can we at least find Dwilia? Most likely the witch has already hid him in her house, so we can't. In any case, finding the witch is more important. If we get rid of her, there wouldn't be any more kidnappings, I'm sure. But what if the boy is still alive and we can save him? Maybe he ran away from the witch and hid somewhere. Is it better to take the time to save a couple of people now? or find the witch and prevent more tragedies. I appreciate your zeal and desire to help, but trust my experience. Okay, how else can I help? You have already helped tremendously. Thank you. You can rest now. I'm going to go look for the witch. Since I have free time, I can look for the boy with the help of the animal. I'll ask Edric if he still has a leash. Hello. How can I help? The baker told me that you once had a bloodhound weasel. Is it true? I had, but alas, it ran away. It was a useful animal. Do you still have a leash? Can I pick it up? That is all that's left. You can have it. I don't need it anymore. Now I need to ask Marjorie for some of Dwilier's things so that the Bloodhound Weasel can trace him. Marjorie, can you give me a personal item that Dwilier used? I can. I have his scarf. Why do you need it? Did you find out something? Not yet, but I found a Bloodhound Weasel. I hope to use it to get on Dwilier's trail. Ah, oh, the Weasel. Magnus said that my boy can only be found using magic. Thank you for your efforts, but I don't think you'll succeed. Well, I don't want to give up so easily. Magnus is busy anyway, so nothing is stopping me from trying.
seems that the trail led the animal to the well. Is there a Thomas, is there any way to get down into the well safely? Edric had a rope ladder. You can search in the mill. The boy has weak breathing, but he is still alive. After a tiring search, Leonor found Dwilia, but she wasn't the first one who did. <gasps> the huge cave spider was mad with rage. It chased her through the caves, longing to finish its supper, furious that someone had dared to disturb and interrupt it. Luckily, Leonor managed to find a hiding place. The last thing she saw before losing consciousness was the spider's futile attempts to reach her. When she woke up, the spider was gone. I need to get out of here and find help. I hope I can make it before it's too late. Please, help. I found Dwilier. We must help him. We? I do not owe anything to anyone. Who is Dwilier? What are you talking about? Dwilier is the son of Madrid, the owner of the tavern. He went missing a couple of days ago, but I took your bloodhound weasel and found him. So it was you who took my bloodhound weasel? Since you are so independent, why can't you save the boy? I was attacked by a huge spider. You are a hunter. You can kill it. I have better things to do. I don't care about all these Dwilia Shmilias of yours. Go to your precious Magnus and let him help you. Oh no. Magnus is still looking for the witch. Well... I'll arm myself with books and try to find out everything about this spider myself. I'll... S 
So I need to immobilize the spider with a hypnotic lantern and defeat it with a poisoned black steel weapon. Now I need to find a book about magic lanterns in Magnus's library. I will sketch this drawing to make such a lantern. However, someone has to kill the spider and pull the boy out. I'll try to persuade Benninger. I really, really need your help. Please listen to me. Magnus is gone. He is again looking for the witch. She is the most important thing to him. The Dwillier may die if I... if we... You are very worried about that boy. It's not really wise, but impressive. What do you want from me? I already know everything about the spider. It can be scared away with a special lantern. Here is the drawing, and it can be killed with dark steel weapons and poison. Dark steel? It's a rare material. I'm definitely not going to make a lantern. Ask Ron Grimm for help. He's an unpleasant guy, but he knows his stuff. I will look for a suitable weapon, and I will help you if I can find one. Ron Grimm, I found Dwilia. He was caught by a huge cave spider. I read how to defeat him with a special lantern. Wait, don't rush. What happened? How can I help you? Where is Dwiller now? I found him in a cave, which is in the well. He's still there. A huge spider wrapped its web around him and also tried to catch me. I need a hypnotic lantern to defeat the spider and take the boy. Benninger will help me with the rest. Benninger? You better not keep company with him. But on the other hand, I can't leave the smithy and my daughter unattended now to go after the boy. Do you have a drawing of a lantern? Yes, I found it in a book. I can forge the base. For now, you can work on the core. These are two subtle matters for me. I'm afraid I'll definitely break something. Come back a little later for the base. I saw new candles in the basement of the tavern. If I can find them, I can melt them down.
This is Liana the Dreamer, priestess of the Moon Goddess. She was one of those who stopped the Grey Overlords.
Okay, there is the core. Here is the base for the lantern. Did you manage to make the core? Yes, almost everything is ready, but I have no idea how to make lenses. My daughter plays with multicolored glasses. You can find them in the treehouse on the edge of the forest. Take them, they could fit. What else do you need? I need to hang the lantern on something. Only a strong fishing rod could withstand it, but I don't know where I can get one. The fisherman has one. The poor guy isn't himself since his son went missing, but I have a spare key to a shop in the shed.
I need colored lenses from this lamp for a lantern. I made a lantern. Did you manage to find the right weapon? Yes, I found arrowheads that I kept for the right occasion, but we still need to apply poison to them. I saw a red horn snake at the edge of the forest. If its poison fits, I can collect it. It will do. You can borrow gloves from me in the clearing so as to not expose yourself to unnecessary danger.
need a suitable jar to collect the poison. I can look for it at Magnus's. I brought the poison. Good. Now, I will apply it to the arrowheads. Lead me to the place where you found the boy. Leonore returned to the spider's lair with some help. She and Benegar prepared everything that would help to deal with the spider. The lantern hypnotized and immobilized the spider. The hunter fired a poisoned black steel arrow. A well-aimed shot hit the spider and it fell dead. Leonore quickly released the boy Benegar put him on his shoulder, and they left the cave together. This doesn't look good. The spider has injected poison, which should prepare the victim to be eaten. The boy is slowly dying. Is there anything we can do to save him? I can go in search of a rare fruit whose juice can neutralize the poison and its effects. Someone should give a compress to the child to slow down the spread of the poison in the body. I will make the compress. What do I need for it? The recipe is on the alchemy table, but I don't have any of the ingredients you need. You'll have to collect them all first. I can handle it. I already know my way around the town and its surroundings quite well. I have no doubts about your abilities. You really are a capable student. 
It's a shame I don't have time to teach you right now, but we'll fix that. Well, I'm on my way. There's no time to waste. The boy will still be alive by tomorrow night, but not much longer. I need to collect all the ingredients as soon as possible. It's difficult to go down to these rose hip bushes. I need a ladder. I need to fix the ladder somehow. I can't pull out the root with my hands. I need to take a shovel. Can I borrow your shovel again? You can, but I've already put all the tools in the barn. Look for the shovel there.
can't reach. I wish I could remember. I'll sit here, in case he will feel worse. I'm so tired. <sighs> Leonore, together with the hunter, pulled the boy out of the cave. But the spider's venom continued to kill him. Magnus said that the juice of a special fruit could help, and went looking for it. Leonore put a compress on the boy and fell asleep due to the exhaustion. It is necessary to fill the barrel with water, or the merchant can become ill. Leonore set up a trap that she made with the help of the blacksmith and the baker. She had to wait patiently when the merchick, besotted by the smell of the fragrant infusion, would get into the trap. She spent the whole night near the lake before the villain finally appeared from the water. In anticipation of the delicacy, the merchick blindly jumped for the bread and fell into a trap. When she woke up from her sleep, Leonore quickly cut the rope. The prime suspect had finally been caught.
The merchick turned out to be heavier than I thought. I'll ask the miller if I can borrow his donkey. Good morning, Edric. May I ask you to lend me a donkey? I need to move something heavy from the lake to the town. I would be happy to help, but sadly, my donkey has fallen ill. He lies weakened and does not eat nor drink. I was just about to go get help. Let me do an exam very quickly. Of course, I'm still learning, but I can try to figure out what's going on. Take a look. It won't do any harm. When you reach a conclusion, tell me. Mode Spurge accidentally got into the hay that the donkey was eating. It seems that this grass is poisonous to animals. I need to ask Rosa if we can help the donkey. Hello, can you tell me if this herb is poisonous to animals? It sure is, it's Spurge. If animals eat Spurge, they become lethargic, lose their appetite, and may even die. Do you have any recipe for curing Spurge poisoning? Yes, take it on the counter. It isn't complicated. If the poisoning is not severe, the animals should feel better immediately. I saw lemon balm in the field. The baker should have baking soda and honey. I'm sure that I'll find blackberries and carrots somewhere. You can't pull a carrot out this way. Take my old shovel blade. I hope it helps in some way. Better than nothing. will be useful now, but I need to find a handle for it. It might be in the forge shed.
Excuse me, do you have baking soda? Of course. You can take some from the shelf. Can I prepare medicine somewhere here? It will be like soup. Of course, don't be shy. You can prepare the ingredients on the table near the counter and cook them on the stove.
Magnus isn't here yet. Strange. I thought here I can weigh out the right amount of baking soda, but I need to assemble a set of calibration weights.
The medicine will be most conveniently prepared in the tavern.
Wow, the donkey looks much better now. Look for a bridle in my barn to harness the donkey to a cart. Leonore cured the miller's donkey, and the miller helped her to take the merchick to the town. They had reached the market square by nightfall. It's getting late. I'll probably go back. Thank you, and good luck. Calm down, your animal. The whole town will wake up. By the way, young lady, you dropped the medallion. The medallion was found just in time. I should have sleep liquid in my... Madret didn't forget to leave me a bun, just as she promised. Well, 
I hope that tomorrow I will solve the mystery of the kidnappings. And now I need to sleep. It was the first time Leonore had a chance to prove herself as a healer and herbalist. She cured the miller's donkey that was poisoned by Spurge. The captured Merchick slept sweetly in the barrel on the square, and nothing foreshadowed trouble. Good morning, darling. Alas, breakfast is not ready yet. Magnus came by to say that he would be busy today, so it would be your day off. However, he left you the keys to his house. Ah, oh, we were never properly introduced. You can call me Madrid. Good morning, Madrid. And my name is Leonore. I'm afraid I don't have the time to wait for breakfast. I was just wondering if you have a baker in the town. Baker? There is one. His name is Erdan. He and the blacksmith had just returned from the search for the kid. You can find the bakery in the main square near the fountain. The forge is just outside the gate by the tavern. Blacksmith? Great. He can help me with the trap. Hello, I was told that you bake bread. Not just bread, the best bread. She Moon baking is second to none. I need buckwheat bread. Do you have one? I haven't baked buckwheat bread for a long time. There was no demand. That's why I don't have buckwheat flour. Try to negotiate with the miller. If you bring me flour, I will bake the bread as soon as possible. I will also need to soak the bread in a special infusion. That's not a problem. The bridge to the mill is broken. That's the problem. The walk takes a lot of time. Repairing the bridge won't be quick either. I'll think of something. Thanks for your help. I'll be back soon.
Nothing complicated. Magnus has some ingredients on the table. I just need to search the field for fragrant herbs and find valerian juice somewhere. You need to stay with us until the Harvest Festival, the best day of the year. Here, I can collect fragrant herbs. There is everything I need. something oh no i was just looking for fragrant herbs for an infusion you're smart i see you know about a lot of things my grandmother was like that too she always collected something crumbled cooked a lot of herbal junk was left after her here take this keeper maybe you'll find something useful there thank you i will open it as soon as possible
I need to soak the bread when it's ready in Javelier's fragrant infusion. I will do it. Hot bread will easily absorb all the flavor from the infusion. Hello, I need to make a trap. Madrid said you were a jack of all trades and could help me. Maybe I can. What trap? For whom? For one creature from the lake. I suspect that it abducts children. It is small in stature, lives in water, and loves bread. I need to capture it alive. But the witch abducts children. However, whether you're right or not, it's still worth checking. Okay, give me some time and I'll come up with a trap for you. trying to fix the bridge before the kidnapping. But then the search and panic began and the gates were closed. So the bridge is still broken. Maybe I can fix it. I just need to find the tools. You can take my toolbox from the shed. If you can fix the bridge, the people will be grateful to you. Ain't much, but I'm glad that
Everything's always mixed up on these.
Good afternoon. Are you the miller? Hello. Yes, my name is Edric. Did you fix the bridge? Great, thanks. This will save me a lot of time. You want something, right? Can you make me buckwheat flour? Let's do it this way. I'll finish the wheat and free the millstone now. And you will collect the fresh buckwheat cereals for flour in the field. There's a sickle in the barn. You'll bring me the cereals, and I'll make flour out of them for five coins. Is that enough? Yes, more than enough. Thank you. I've already forgotten when someone last ordered the buckwheat flour.
Take the coins. Thank you. I hope my price isn't too high. The order is unusual, so I need to spend a little more time and effort. Great. Now the baker will bake me some bread. I'll go to the blacksmith. He probably came up with a trap already. I brought buckwheat flour. How fast can you make the bread? I'll manage until the evening. I'll postpone the rest of the orders since you're in a rush. The morning batch should be enough for the residents. Can I help you somehow? You can get a tray of eggs from my shelf. Even I spend a lot of time trying to find what I need there. My work and my life are here at the mill. Look, it's simple. We take a large barrel, fill it with water, close the hole with branches and put the bait on top. We attach a rope to the top of the cage. As soon as the beast grabs the bait, you will cut the rope and the cage will fall and lock it in the barrel. There's just one problem. I don't have a barrel. I saw a big barrel in the market. I'll try to fix it. The resin must be melted to tar the barrel. I saw an old bucket on the shore. I need to find it. I found the tray of eggs. Excellent. Please take these empty bags to the miller. If you give him the bags, he will give you the flour. You'll bring it to me, and I will not take money from you for the bread because of your help. The baker asked me to give you the bags. Thank you. 
I've already been waiting. Please, bring him this flower in return. I gave the bags to the miller. Here is the flower he gave me in return. Thank you. It seems that we live close, but we do not have enough time for meetings. Here is your bread.
My work and my life are here at the mill. You did great. Almost done. A strong rope should be in Mardred's pantry. Darling, you've been out all day. It's getting dark already. You ran away without breakfast. Can I bring you at least a bun for dinner? Oh, really? It's almost night in the yard? I need to hurry. A bun would be great. Thank you. As I understand it, you got used to the town since you figured out how to spend the day off. You could say so. I'm trying to figure out where the boy has gone. Oh, someone would rather find him. My son has not been sleeping fine since his friend disappeared. He is going through terrible times. It seems that only today he finally fell deeply asleep for the first time. If only you succeed. Thanks to the kindness of the local craftsman, Leonore made a trap for the merchant. When she got to the lake with the trap, the deep night had already fallen. Good morning. Breakfast is included. Good morning. 
It seems like we never had the time to get to know each other. My name is Leonor. My name is Helga. I have lived in Forest Hill since I was born. Do you want to know something about the town? What's the story with the missing child? The one that everyone is talking about. And the witch. Oh, terrible, terrible tragedy. The boy, the son of a fisherman, he went to the lake to fish and did not return. He was certainly abducted by the blasted witch. Who else could do such a thing? This has already happened a couple centuries ago. Children got lost in the forest and came across a gingerbread house. They barely escaped alive from the witch that lived in that house. She was going to eat them, but she couldn't. At least that's what people say. Apparently, this time she will have a feast. Creepy story. Thanks for sharing it, but I've got to go. I have to get to Magnus as soon as possible. Hello, how are you? Have you settled in here? Are you ready to help me find the witch? I settled down, thanks. I just wanted to ask, why a witch? I saw a vision in the pyramid. Ha! Censored. A pseudo-magical artifact for the gullible, naive, ignorant. Don't trust anything you see in that thing. We found the boy's belongings in the forest. Okay, sorry. What should I do now? How can I help? Find a book with the history of the town in my attic, and read at least the chapter regarding this witch. That's enough for today. I don't want to burden you too much. Thanks, but I don't... Feel at home here. Feel free to read books and use tools. Learn in general. You've come here for this. I think Magnus is testing me, but I know it's a Genodia. If I sprinkle it with Shamoon pollen, it will calm down. I can look for it in the market. an apothecary, merchant, and herbalist. Of course, I'm not like Magnus, but I can do something. Ask me. Hello, I'm Leonor. I was searching someone to ask a question. Is there a lake nearby? Lake? There is one. There, beyond the fields. But the gates are broken. No one will repair them now. Did you hear that the boy was kidnapped there? After that, everyone tries to stay at home and people do not go anywhere without a reason. Well, I'll think of something. Thank you. Do you want to know something else? Is that Shamoon pollen on your counter? Is it for sale? It is. Of course it's for sale. It costs six coins. Welcome to Godelof's Treasure and Curiosity Shop. I visited deserts and oases, cities and villages, mountains and caves, and collected the most worthwhile gizmos. Wow, there are so many. Every the most important treasure in this shop is me. I brought six coins. Is there only one bottle? Unfortunately, yes. It is not the rarest thing, but it is not the most popular in our area. The she moon things here are of little use to anyone.
Looks like you almost fixed the gate. They had broken shortly before the kid went missing. Almost? Is something missing? You still need a lever. They threw it into the basement, and so it lies there because everyone is busy searching and lamenting. It would be great if you could finish the job. I'll try. Thanks. Hello? Have they decided to open the gate already? Finally. Walking around is so inconvenient after all. I opened them because I needed to get to the lake. 
Is it there? Yes, right across the field. By the way, I didn't introduce myself. My name is Thomas. I want to warn you, it's the poisonous frog season on the lake. They're just everywhere. I am Leonor. Thank you. I know something about frogs. I need to take a look at them. I hope to come up with something. You need to stay with us until the Harvest Festival. The best day of the year. This is exactly where the creature jumped in my vision. Such frogs can be temporarily repelled by a fetid root. I'll find the root and look for clues here. So that's the purpose of these wooden figurines of birds. These are the keys. I definitely saw one of these in Godelothe's shop. Got a loath? What do you know about wooden bird figurines? Like the one you have on the counter. To be honest, I don't know much about them. I have found those figurines here in Forest Hill. They are skillfully made, probably the work of local craftsmen. How much more do you have? How much do they cost? That's the only one left. In general, it costs ten coins. However, I will sell it to you for nine.
Magnus has a large library. There will certainly be a book about different creatures. Nine coins, just like you asked. Thank you for your purchase. May this bird bring you good luck. It's getting dark outside.
am very tired. I will go to bed. The morning is wiser than the evening. On the second day, Leonore learned the legend of the child abducting witch and read about the Merchicks, mischievous water creatures. She was immersed in her thoughts of catching a Merchick and fell asleep while she was hoping to find a solution in the morning. Well? Once upon a time, in the kingdom of Alamania, in a small, cozy town called Forest Hill, there lived a boy, son of a fisherman. The boy disappeared in broad daylight, and no one was able to find him for several days. At the same time, Leonor left the walls of the orphanage to become an apprentice of the elder of this town. What will her story be? Hello, where can I find the home of the local elder, Magnus? You already found it. It is there, on your right. Welcome to Forest Hill. at the monastery. Ah, you are the outstanding student who was so recommended to me in a letter. I'm not that outstanding. I hope that you are. Alas, the situation has changed. At present, I cannot teach you. There is a dangerous witch who is kidnapping children, and I must find her immediately. Is she kidnapping children? What a horror. Did she kidnap many? So far, only one. But I'm sure it's only a matter of time so we need to catch her as soon as possible. If you help me find the witch, you will become my successor. But for now, I will just get to know what you are worth. Okay, I'll do my best. Where should I start? Take a break from the road and get comfortable in the town. Find yourself a room to sleep in the tavern and come to me tomorrow morning. Tell me, please, where is the tavern? Come out through that gate to the square. Right in front of you will be the rose and the crown.
Hello, do you have a free room? Darling, why are you so late? All rooms are already taken. No room at all? I came to study with Magnus, and he told me that I should find a place to stay. Ah, so you're an apprentice to Magnus. You are lucky. Magnus is a great alchemist and a wonderful elder. Let me think. There is an old room in the attic. I am ashamed to house people there. It's okay. It doesn't matter to me as long as I have something to sleep on. Thank you very much. How much do I owe you? It's embarrassing for me to charge you the full price for such conditions. If you bring me seven coins by the end of the week, it will be fair enough. Wait, I can't find the keys. Indeed, I don't have this key holder. Probably my little son played with it. I bet he lost all the keys again somewhere in the area. Here is what we'll do. You'll find the keys, and at this time, I'll order to bring your luggage here. Okay, I'll be back soon. Thanks. The room must be very dirty. No one has lived there for a long time. If you go past the basement, you can find a broom there.
It's dark and I can't see a thing. Maybe the owner of the tavern has a lantern. The basement is dark. How can I light it up? Do not use fire. I will give you a magic lantern. It is the last one I have, and it does not burn for long. In case you need something else later, you will have to look for such lantern yourself. Thanks! I solemnly hand you the key to your room. Have a nice rest. Thank you for finding a room for me. This is my first true home on my own after the monastery orphanage. Oh, no one has indeed lived here for a long time. Well, it's okay. I'll quickly fix the place up. can light a fireplace. There must be matches in the pantry. It's the keeper. It contains various useful things. They can be opened on the same altar as the Keeper.
unusual hatch, locked. I wonder if there's a key to it. Hello, you must be the tavern owner's son. Can you tell me where I can find the matches? Yes, my name is Dwelier. Matches, look in the pantry. And who are you? How long have you been here? I'm Leonor. I have just arrived today to study with Magnus. Wow, great. I would also like to be a healer like him when I grow up. I always used to look for useful herbs in the forest when I was walking with a friend. But that's not going to happen again. Why? What happened? He was kidnapped by an evil forest witch a couple of days ago. I miss him. He was my one and only friend. The missing boy. I feel for you. I'm sure Magnus will find the witch, and your friend will be fine. This is a sensorita. It can show you the answer to a question that worries you a lot, but it needs a golden pyramid, which is rare. Well, now I have a golden pyramid, and the cleaning is finished. I need to find out downstairs where I can get firewood for a fireplace. You found the pyramid! Put it on the base by the window. Ask any question that really worries you, and bam! You will see the answer. What should I ask it? Maybe I should ask if Magnus would accept me as an apprentice. Of course he will. You are smart, kind, and beautiful. He is not a fool. <laughs> You're very cute, but you don't know me at all. I think you are kind. And kind people help others in need. Help me find my friend. Ask where he is. Hmm, that's a good idea. Let's find the boy. Everyone will be happy. And Magnus too, because he's engaged in searching. Perhaps you are right. That's what I will ask about. Leonor asked the question about the missing boy in her head, set up the pyramid, and peered intently at the dancing grains of sand. She saw in the sandy outline a boy fishing in a boat on a lake. Suddenly, a piercing scream sounded in her head. The boy disappeared, and some creature with a bizarre paw plopped into the lake. What did you see in the vision? There was some kind of creature near the boat. It seems like it dragged the boy under the water. That's all. A creature? But no one lives in the lake. <sighs> well, it was worth a try. Um, I completely forgot. Do you know where I can find firewood for the fireplace? Mom usually stores firewood in the basement. Take a look there.
What a beautiful, precious altar. I can open the keeper of the same type on it. Hey, it is not customary in our town to roam the streets at night. I found a wallet nearby. Do you think it's possible to find the owner? I find peace in these... I brought coins. Seven, right? Yes, thank you. Take the key to the drawer. There is fresh linen. Good night. Great. They have brought my things already. Leonore's first day in the town was intense. She met a teacher, found a place to stay, and decided to help find the missing boy. She would sleep all day, but she was awakened by a loud knock on the door. Well, did you improve the crown? There was plenty of time. Um, almost. Just a little more time to finish some things. So quickly, get on with it. The witch is almost in our hands. I'm counting on you. I must quickly go to Nimaril. I hope I can find the map that his father used. Did you manage to find a clue? Yes. There are some numbers. Squares. I don't understand anything. I hope you'll understand.
I still don't get it. Maybe there is some clue on the back? I saw a stencil with the same symbol on my dad's shelves. Judging by the images, this clue should help to open the cache. I will need coins of different denominations to open this door. I can try to exchange coins at Godeloth's store for the denomination I need. Can you exchange this coin? I need one for 25 and one for eight. I can exchange 50 for 25 and 25, but eight is a very rare coin. I held it in my hands only once when I bought a ticket from wandering artists, but alas, I already sold it.
Dad moved the crown over this map and looked through it at the figures. It doesn't work. Probably this is because some details are missing. There is a basket of candy in the tavern. Maybe I can find the right candies there. Hello, may I take some candy from your counter? Of course, you helped to save my son. I am indebted to you. Is there any other way I can help? Are these candies in the basket the only ones you have? I need another one in the shape of a swan. Look in the pantry. I have a lot of them. I usually don't put everything in the basket.
this must be the way to the witch's house. There is a pond with swans and a clearing with wild strawberries in the forest near the hunter's place. I need to go there with this map. The gingerbread map worked. The crown with the compass opened a portal to the witch's hideout. Leonore closely followed the movement of the revived gingerbread man and repeated his route exactly. One mistake, and the house would have remained hidden, as it would be in front of Magnus and other residents. The magic of the map led her to the right place, and the witch's house opened before her. It was so deep in the forest that she would have had to walk for several days without the portal. When Leonore looked out of the forest, she saw with her own eyes how the witch, wrapped in a robe, grabbed the boy and locked him in a magical trap. another kidnapped child. I have to free him. The witch hid the child somewhere around here. But how can I open a passage to the bunker?
Leonor dispelled the witchcraft and opened the trap. But as soon as she took the boy by the hand to take him away, familiar shadows enveloped him. The witch ran out of the house and desperately shouted after her son. Why? Why did you bring evil into this forest? Why did you give my son right into its clutches? But I thought it was you. Everyone in the settlement is talking about the witch and the gingerbread. I do not understand anything. Why were you looking for me? There are missing children in Forest Hill. They were carried away by the shadows after eating the enchanted gingerbread. There is a legend in the town about the witch who kidnaps children, and everyone thinks it's you. Me? I have never kidnapped other people's children. Even 200 years ago, they came across my house and started to gnaw it, then ran away as soon as they saw me. Show me those gingerbreads. These are not my gingerbreads. I don't make them like this. It seems that someone specifically wanted to make everyone suspect me. Why did you try so hard to hide them? We, Dragonoids, have very strong bond with children because of the magic in our blood. Disturbing visions began to haunt me relentlessly. I wanted to keep us safe from any kind of magic. Visions? What was in these visions? I can show you. I have sketched every vision in this book. I know this place. It's a tapestry in Magnus's house. I need to go there and check it out. Visions of the future can be a gift or a curse. What was that? I need to get back to the witch. She may know that magic and how to deal with it. I came to Magnus's house. There was a secret door behind the tapestry from the vision. But as soon as I pulled the handle, I was attacked by the same shadows as the children. Shadows? Such magic has been banned for a long time. He must be hiding something really rotten. Is there any way to remove this spell from the door? I can help you see the spell, but I don't know how to help you remove it. You're not a magician, and I definitely shouldn't be in the town. Is there any way for me to do it? I'm sure that there is. I have a few books about magic in my chest. You can look through them. Surely people have come up with some kind of artifact for this. How can I see the spell? The candies in my yard are not quite ordinary. They have many features. If you cut off a piece of candy, make a lens out of it, and soak it in black water, such a lens will reveal any spell, even the darkest one. How can I make this black water? I will prepare the black water myself. It is difficult. And you take care of the lens. I hope you can find a way in the books to remove the spell after you reveal it. I need something very sharp to separate part of the candy. Benneker probably has the right tool in the clearing. 
Put the lens in the bowl and fill it with water so that the lens is well saturated. in the picture. These are ruins at the bottom of the cave lake. I need to examine them to find the crystal. Thank <laughs> you. 
Visions of the future can be a gift or a curse.
this book may hold the key to unraveling what is going on. It remains to figure out how to turn off the protective field. need to tell the witch about this dark ritual. What happened? I tried to find my son with magic. I got to the cave when the dark defense attacked me. The potion restored some of my strength, but I lost my sight. Hopefully not forever, but definitely for a long time. I found a strange magical book at Magnus's. It says that the sacrifice of the four races can break some kind of seal, and that the ritual must be performed under the blood moon. Security seal. That's why he needs the kids. It turns out this is definitely the work of Magnus. Who would have thought? You will have to try to stop him alone because the blood moon will rise tonight in five hours. What should I do? We don't have the slightest idea where he is or where the children are. Before the magic detect me, I reached a stone with the symbol of air. I think it leads to the ritual site. Take this symbol. I hope it leads you to the answer. A strange astronomical instrument in Magnus's house with a similar pattern in the center.
Judging by the recesses, I need to place five certain elements in this mechanism to use it. It seems to be a stone from the pedestal in the cave, but that is broken. Can the witch know? I found and assembled the stone. It is large, smooth, and has a griffin painted on it. Do you know what might be special about it? Perhaps it will be possible to open a passage to the ritual site with the help of five such stones. Sounds like star stones. I think they can be found with the help of a magic ritual. It is unlikely they have protection. Can I do this ritual? Yes. The stone must be placed in the center of the map. On the table, and purple candle should be lit. Points on the map will tell you where the rest of the stones will be. But first, you need to get the support of the hunter. You cannot help by yourself, and no one in town will go against the Elder. However, Benegur lives on the outskirts for a reason. Magnus once framed him up and blackened him in front of all of the residents. So that's what this is about. That explains a lot. I'll go to him. When you go to Benegur, ask him for a new purple candle. He should definitely have one. Benegur, it's Magnus. Magnus kidnapped the kids. I know where he went, but I need help to save them. I knew. I told everyone that something was off with him. Nobody believed me. That's what it all came to. Okay, I'll help. And one more thing. The witch said you have a purple candle. The witch? Her name is Akra, and I have a candle. Look in the clearing. I'll get ready at that time.
rising of the red moon. Akra, good to see you. Are you okay? So, that's the ritual that these candles are needed for. I've never seen it. Move away. I'll deal with them now.
Try to use a knife. This resin should break easily.
three more hours before the red moon rises. Look, a drawing appeared on the rock. Everything seems to be too simple. I need to check if there is some kind of protective spell here as well. Leonor and Beniger went out to the site of the ritual. Beniger demanded he hand over the children, but Magnus did not respond. It was no longer Magnus. Someone else controlled him. He brought down the stone on the bridge with a powerful spell. Leonor managed to run away, but the hunter stood too close. He couldn't stay on the fragments of the bridge and fell into the cliff. Magnus went deeper into the cave as if nothing had happened. The red moon will rise in an hour. I need... I need to get back to the Dragonoid. There! Magnus! He turned into someone... different. He brought down the bridge with magic. Beniger fell off the edge of a cliff. There's no way to get to the ritual site now. Poor fellow. But the children are still alive. We need to come up with an idea of how to save them. Is there something long enough to reach the other end of the cliff? I need to remember. There is a statue. If I blow up its base, it will fall and it will be possible to walk over it. I just recently took a special liquid from the blacksmith. Explosive liquid can provoke a large-scale collapse. But you can use an exploding crystal with it. If you make a bomb, then the explosion will be local. I can take explosive liquid from Rongrim again. Do you have a vessel to pour it into? I must have something suitable. Look in the next room. There you will find all the necessary instructions. The future is not set in I got the explosive liquid. There are two instructions on the wall that will help me to figure out how to make a bomb.
Leonore entered the cave as the moons merged, and bloody light filled everything. Magnus was consumed by the ritual. Magnus is engrossed in the ritual and doesn't see me. I'll try to free the kids before he notices me. been removed from the child. Consciousness regaining will take time, but I will use it to free the others.
Leonor freed the children with the help of a glove and commanded them to get ready and run together out of the cave. When Magnus felt that the magic was weakening, he turned to find out the reason and saw Leonor. Magnus cast a destructive spell on her, but the protective bracelet saved the girl. It surrounded her with a shield that took the damage away. Magnus prepared to cast his spell again, but Benegar appeared from behind, grabbed him, and dived into the ritual well with him. There was no time to think. The magic dissipated, and Leonor led the last child, the son of the fisherman, to the exit. The well erupted, and a magical explosion rocked the cave. Everything around started to fall apart. Leonor saved all four children. It seemed like a good ending to a terrible story, but no one guessed that this was not the end. It was necessary to sacrifice the blood of all four races to remove the seal. Magnus's plan failed, but despite everything, the conditions of the ritual were still fulfilled. Distant ancestors of Magnus were Shimu and Dragonoids, and Benegar's ancestors were dwarves and humans. Therefore, their blood was enough for the ritual. The first seal was broken, and the Grey Overlord was one step closer to returning to this world. When the jubilation about the return of the children subsided, Leonor decided to stay in the town. She became the local herbalist and alchemist instead of Magnus. The inhabitants of the town gave her land to build her own house. Life in Forest Hill continued to go on as usual. What happened? Are you okay? I was cleaning up the room on the second floor when all of a sudden I heard some noise from downstairs. And then my boy screamed and... and... I ran downstairs, but I couldn't find him anywhere. It must be the damned witch again. What about Magnus? Can he help? He's gone on his own searches. He only muttered that she hides very well. Margaret, hold on. Now we'll pack up and go in pursuit. We'll get your boy back. It turns... Magic, live and real. I did not expect to see him here at all. They have not been found in these parts for a long time. I caught him in the lake. I thought that he was abducting children, but Dwilia had just disappeared. Which means that it's not Merchik's fault. Of course it's not his fault. They are usually peaceful and friendly. They avoid human company and play pranks, yes, but kidnapping a child is too much for a Merchik. But he was there. He could at least see the kidnapper. Only, I don't understand any of his mutterings. I was told that the local animal specialist is the hunter, Benegar. He prefers to live away from the town, but he is the only one who can help you understand the Merchik. How can I find him? You will leave the forge and pass the edge of a forest, and somewhere there will be a shack in the forest. If you're lucky, You'll find him there. Hello. Who are you? I'm Freya, the blacksmith's daughter. Dad's just left. I need to get to the edge of the forest. Can you help me? My treehouse is there, and I'd love to play in it. But Dad closed the gate and hid the key in the shed. If you find the key and open the door, it'd be great.
Thank you for opening the gate. No one has been there for a long time. I saw a brush cutter in the forge. It can be used to clear the passage. This is the altar to open the keeper, but I haven't found any similar to this yet. Who are you? What are you doing here? I am Leonor, apprentice of Magnus. I was told that you can understand the language of Merchex. Magnus' apprentice. Go your way. I can help you, but I won't. But why? I'm trying to help find missing children. I have nothing to do with this. Although, I need arrowheads. Make them, then I'll think about helping you. You can look for the form in the clearing near my dwelling. Like it has something to do with the town hall clock.
I get tired of everything, I go to the field at night, and I look at the stars.
I need to find the missing numbers and return them to their place.
This is one of the four heroes who stopped the Grey Overlord. Some strange material. Maybe there are other heroes figurines somewhere else. I have almost no experience in blacksmithing, but I made the arrowheads the best I could. Well, if you did what it takes to help me, then I will help you too. He is worried about something. You need to calm him down. Then he will speak. They love wind chimes. Wind chimes? What's this? How can I make one? It's something like a bell. I don't remember exactly how to make it. There are different jingles. Cinnamon sticks. I must have notes somewhere. I will look for a scam. I'll ask the baker if he has cinnamon in the meantime. borrow a few cinnamon sticks from you? Are you trying to be my competition? Of course you can take them. They're on the shelf. I found the wind chime scam in my notes. Thanks. I'll try to take care of it. There must be a suitable base in the clearing. I've already found several of these bells. If I can only remember where.
I made a bell. Great. Now we can return to the square and listen to the mer chick. When the mer chick was pacified by the wind chime, he willingly shared everything he had seen. A few days ago, the merchant smelled bread in the boat where the boy was sitting. He was about to jump to steal the bread when terrible shadows suddenly appeared and rushed at the boy. The merchant hid. When he emerged, the shadows had already disappeared along with the boy. The merchant said that he had seen the same shadows in the square while he was sitting in a barrel. They were also chasing another boy that ran away from the town towards the fields. The merchant was very afraid of these shadows. He said that this was evil magic. He really wanted to go home. But it can't be. I saw him in a vision. Maybe he's not telling the truth. Mer chicks are physically incapable of lying. You can trust his words. Then things just got even more complicated. Nevertheless, I have to put him back in the lake. It's already night. You don't have to wander around the town at such a time. I'll take the mer chick myself. Go home. It's already quite dark. Perhaps I really need to rest. It was a terrible day. Dwarf Dwilia, the son of the tavern owner, had disappeared. Leonor had to get the support of Benegar, a stern hunter who lives on the outskirts, to question the merchant. 
However, her hopes were not justified. The kidnapping was not the Merchick's fault. However, he turned out to be a valuable witness. and troubles, troubles and worries. Leonore sailed away across the lake to inspect the shore, which was inaccessible because of the dense forest. When Leonore stepped ashore, it became clear that the lake was in a lowland. She looked up, and something interesting caught her attention. There was an island visible behind the cliff, but the bridge to the island was destroyed. Previously, the old city was located on this island. Humans, dragonoids, Shimun, and dwarves flocked here from all over the empire to share their knowledge with the other races. However, as the empire split, the old city fell victim to racial and land strife. The place, which was a symbol of unity, was destroyed. Wow, this is not the place that I imagined when I read about it, but it is beautiful. Wow, that's a sound lock. I need to change the string to make it work. Pigeons won't let me look around. I need to distract them.
saw the same valve in Edric's garden when I took the host there. And some notes appeared on the parapet. The acid in the blacksmith's shed will help to disconnect the valve. Magnus is still missing. Did his search really lead to something? There is a golden note on this display case. I saw a figurine in Magnus's attic that will open it.
These are the four heroes who stopped the Grey Overlord. In memory of their sacrifice, the Order of the Grey Guard was created. It was almost three centuries ago.
it's already dark. I'd better go back to the room and rest. Leonore opened the way to the old city. There were a lot of curiosities, hiding places, and historical relics waiting for her. Alas, she could not figure out where to find the moon mist, but she found a strange pendant. Will her Dan be able to help her to restore the memory flower? <laughs>